Hi, this is Vi from Scrapping Mania, and today in Scrapping Therapy, I am going to create an image on this background that I already did with watercolor and some salt. So I want to go ahead and put a flower here. I'm going to use a magnolia. I do have an image, a reference photo from Pinterest. However, I don't own that photo, so I cannot show it to you. But if you go on Pinterest and do search, you will find the magnolia, and um, you can go ahead and create this painting. I'm going to go ahead and use my roller cutter crayons. These are from Fiber Castell, and I do have some reefs in here. So I'm just going to use these. I got to start using some of the supplies that I have. So um, it's a good good idea to every once in a while pull the old stuff that you have not used for a while and kind of use it in a painting or in a in an album or 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 card or, or whatnot. I am going to be using this graphite and it's a 6b and I do like this these they're they're pretty nice so I'm gonna go ahead and use this so I'm gonna um, sketch out my flower and then I'm gonna use that to fill in the color and let's see how this comes out so I'm starting with the very simple shape of my leaves so let me see if I can bring you on closer so you can see how I'm um, drawing these out Flowers are something that's very easy to create. They're basically simple shapes, either they're circle, oval, um, and you could even make it very organic. So once you put the color, you lay color on them, it does come to life. So then I'm creating those branches and putting some leaves in between my branches. And it, I, I do like how those branches are coming out. I made them not straight. They're, they're kind of um, irregular. And then I decided to go over it with some white, with my white um, watercolor crayon, because that will allow me to lay colors on there that will, you know, will help pop from the background. So I'm mixing my colors. I'm not adding any water yet. So um, I mix my colors. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to blend it in. So I, here, And I'm not using a lot of water. Don't use a lot of water. So what you want to do is your brush needs to be almost dry. And then you just need, need a little bit of water to kind of blend the the color in with the white crayon and that's why I like these brushes when I'm using watercolor crayons I use my cheaper brushes it doesn't keep it doesn't retain as much water so it allows me to have a little more control on how much water I apply on my my art and I am going back with a little bit of white to give it a little more highlights on the edges. I do enjoy using water soluble crayons because you can lay them down and use your fingers to smudge them. You can also have the ability to use water to blend them and I use a combination of both. I use water and I also smudge them a little bit with my fingers. And trying to make sure that I let the petals in the background of the flower pop um, or give it a little shadow so that it gives it some dimension. So now I wanted to go back in with my um, pencil because I really wanted to make that flower pop and as you can see once I go over again with the pencil it really made it stand out. I really like how that look. So I went ahead and surfed the net and I wanted to put a quote on this page and I found the perfect quote that read, be strong, be brave, be fearless. And I wanted to handwrite that quote in because one of my goals for this year is to work on improving my hand lettering. I did buy some um, brush pens that I want to go ahead and try to really make nice um, calligraphy type of hand lettering. But I need to practice with every skill and with any art, you have to really practice in order to get better. And that's my, my goal this year. So I'm going to, you're going to be seeing more of the hand lettering on my art. 
So I found a butterfly and I went ahead and placed it on my page because I felt like it needed something on that top area. And then I wanted the butterfly to pop so I went ahead and went over with charcoal and using my blending stump to smudge the charcoal. So it looks like it's it, there's a um, shadow behind the butterfly. I still wanted more color on these flowers so I decided to just take my Wink Costella. I only have three of them. And it's a red, a, a green, and a white glitter one. So all these are glitter. So I went ahead and used my red and my green on this project. And I really like how it looked. I think I'm going to leave this alone. So this is my page. And I hope you like it. And thank you for watching. Bye now.